This video is sponsored by our good friends over at VitaDAO. Stay tuned until the end to hear about the video we made for their channel. As medical science and technology advance, so do human lifespans, and as scientists continue to make technological breakthroughs, life expectancy will keep rising. But what happens when people start living longer than ever before, no longer dying from old age? Where will we go? What will we eat? Won't we all be squished together like sardines? Calm down, me. <laughs> you don't want to go pop a pixel. Let's talk about why overpopulation might not be an oversized issue. Cue the intro. Hey there. Welcome to Life Noggin. In the pre-modern world, life expectancy was just 30 years. But now, after a few centuries of industrialization, global life expectancy is over 70 and is projected to reach 82 by 2100. While this could result in a larger elderly population requiring more resources for care, which some countries are currently experiencing, advances in medical technology won't just help people live longer lives, but healthier ones too. The number of years a person is expected to live at full health, known as their healthy life expectancy, has increased 8% in the last 20 years, from 58.3 to 63.7. This means they'll be able to stay in the workforce longer, and won't require as much expensive medical or home care, which will reduce the current burden the elderly place on social and healthcare systems. In fact, scientists estimate that slowing the aging process and increasing life expectancy by just one year could save the US economy economy, get this, $38 trillion. But as people continue to live longer, the world population is also increasing. This is happening at a rate of around 82.4 million people a year. And by 2059, the population is expected to continue to grow gradually from today's 8 billion to over 10 billion. But interestingly, by the end of the century, it will start to go down. That's largely because fertility rates are decreasing due to advances in society, such as women's empowerment, lower child mortality, and the rising cost of raising children. Countries like Japan and Korea have actually been incentivizing people to have more babies due to the seriously declining birth rates and rapidly aging population. Still, 10 billion people is a lot of people. Where will we keep them? What will they eat? I'm trying to bake as many pizza bagels as fast as I can, okay? Of the 149 million square kilometers of land on Earth, 106 million are habitable. Currently, you humans live on only about 1% of this habitable area, so there's plenty of room to expand, but you use another 46% of it for your food. Luckily, farmers are already looking for more sustainable ways to make more food with less land as an effort to curb climate change and feed the growing population. And as they become more efficient, water availability will increase as well, which is a good thing, since parts of the world are already experiencing water scarcity and more people will only exacerbate the issue. However, while we may soon have solutions for food and water deficits, it'll be up to us as a society to ensure that everyone gets them, which they should. It's a no-brainer. As Grandma Blocko would say, be nice. So would you want to live in different places if you could live for a very long time? Where would you go? Or would you just stay put where you are? Let me know in the comment section below. Quick shout out to our friends over at VitaDAO. They actually sponsored this video. And if you want to learn more about all the cool things they're doing for the longevity space, click the first link in the description. Whether you're interested in science, new tech, or just someone with a curious mind, don't miss the video we made with them over on their channel. You can explore the groundbreaking work being done in this field. It's a community where anyone can contribute and coordinate towards collective action. Click here to watch this video we did on what happens to your body at different ages, or click here to watch this video. And big shout out to Lifespan, the team that powers Life Noggin. Check them out down in the description. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.